to Foster Hope Day. All donations are going to the Foster and Adoptive Care Coalition to help them with their mission of finding every child a place to call home. Home is a basic need. We all need and deserve homes. So I'm gonna teach you a couple of cocktails. Um, we are gonna start out with a spicy jalapeno pineapple margarita. Margarita has performed very strong over the decades. So it's always a good one to bust out with friends and family. To start, I have to back. <laughs> we have a pineapple simple syrup. So this is gonna be a little bit of your prep work that you wanna get ready before you're ready to make your cocktails. Um, buy a fresh pineapple, get canned pineapple. Either way, chop it up nice and small. Even if you can throw it into a blender to blitz it first, then you're gonna add one to one ratio water and sugar. So if you use one cup of water, use one cup of sugar add your pineapple and simmer until the sugar is um, all diluted. So that only takes a couple minutes. Um, also, of course, fresh lime juice. Always use fresh if you can. Double strain it. Uh, it just makes for a better cocktail always. We have either dry curacao or Cointreau. So you make the call. Um, this drink, because of the pineapple addition, is going to lean on the sweeter side so dry curacao will be a little bit more dry the quantra is going to be a little bit sweeter so you like more dry you like a little sweeter oh, and tequila of course tequila. so i like to use a blanco or a reposado for an easy marg you can go on yeho but it's going to add a lot of vanilla and caramel flavors almost kind of bourbony so go that direction if you want i'm taking it a little bit lighter today so one of my favorite tools, an OXO measuring cup. We're gonna do one and a half ounces of tequila first. One and a half is a good spot to be at. Two ounces typically tastes a little strong for most people. Dump it into your shaker. And we're gonna move to our lime juice, fresh, fresh. I'm gonna go 0.75, so we're working in ounces here. This is gonna be just below the one ounce mark. Into the shaker. Dry curacao, half an ounce. And then your pineapple simple syrup, half an ounce. All right. Extra spice here. I'm gonna add fresh jalapenos. Be careful though. Seeds make it very spicy. They can hurt your hands a little bit. You definitely wanna strain them out. You don't wanna surprise anyone with a super spicy seed situation. So that's it. We've got our tequila, our lime juice. We've got either dry curacao or Cointreau, triple sec, um, pineapple simple, and fresh jalapenos. In this shaker, I'm gonna fill it up all the way. You want a lot of good dilution and for the jalapenos to bounce around in there and really create a nice flavor. Flip it, stick it, and stick. shakes like really work it out practice you know there's all different techniques <laughs> so i love my margarita up but you can do it over the rocks just as easy so because i'm going to pour this up i'm going to double strain it so i've got these two tools here double strained And then have fun with your garnish moment. I think this is like one of the best parts of making cocktails and showing them off to your friends. You know, hit some nice little pineapple garnish moment, maybe a little jalapeno floater. And of course, more fresh lime. Always, always more citrus. And so that is your jalapeno pineapple margarita. Cheers.
And for our next cocktail, we are gonna do a classic called the Aviation. Also, at any point at all, feel free to donate. Donate right here. Just click it, get there. We super appreciate it so, so much. So, okay, cocktails. Again, just get your prep together. This one is mostly liqueur based, but we do have lemon juice required. So fresh lemon juice, if at all possible, juice them up, strain them, have it ready. So this classic cocktail, um, it's a lot of, of very intense flavors, intense in the best way, but like one can overpower another one very quickly. So you wanna be kind of steady handed, um, and just take your time. So we've got a sturdy base of gin that's gonna hold up this really nice bittersweet flavor of the maraschino cherry liqueur. And the creme de violette gives it that really beautiful floral flavor. So we've got cherry, violets, deliciousness. Okay, so we're gonna take it nice and slow and we're gonna pour very, very easy handed on this. So any gin will do. If you prefer your Hendrix, go for it. Love it, such a good base. Today we're using some Bombay. So that's where we're at. We're gonna go one and a half ounces of gin. Big bottle, very big. All right, I'm dumping on in there. Go to my lemon juice. I'm gonna go half an ounce of fresh lemon juice. All right, so those two, not so intense, but these two flavors, very careful. So creme de violet, beautiful color. It's what gives this cocktail its violet color, kind of pink, kind of purple, just depending on the brand that you get. Um, this is a good one. Go with this guy. It's great, it's beautiful. We're gonna go 0.25 ounces. So very, very, very small. If you go too much on the creme de violet, honestly, it's gonna taste a little soapy. So that's not ideal. Um, all these flavors together though is incredibly harmonious, refined, and has awesome depth. So you'll totally impress your friends with this one. 0.25, it's a quarter ounce. Another 0.25 of the maraschino cherry liqueur. It's a quick one. All right, and then again, you're gonna fill your shaker, your small tin up to the brim. Before you do that though, you're gonna donate, right? Okay. And get your shake on. This classic cocktail is definitely always served up, so on the rocks, but we like to like stay true to the classics, of course. So I'm going to go again in the coop and I'm going to double strain. So we got the Hawthorne strainer on top and a little mesh guy here. If you're looking for these tools and you're in the St. Louis area, go check out Intoxicology, one of my favorite shops. All right. We have a really nice, almost periwinkle violet kind of blue color going on here really nice. And we have garnish options, of course. So classic, I really love a nice lemon swath. Get a really good, nice lemon peel here. You always wanna express it over your drink. So that way you have beautiful aromatics, hit your rim, and then just float it. Or you can go maraschino cherry. So posted, super decadent. Set that guy on the rim or let it float down at the bottom and you're all set. Cheers.